Everything began five years ago. Four Arms was fighting a red galvanic mechamorph named Malware. While Four Arms appears to have the upper hand, Malware manages to grab the Omnitrix and forces it to time out, which leads Four Arms to revert back into Ben. Malware confronts Ben and taunts him about his defeat, which allows enough time for the Omnitrix to activate again. Ben transforms into feedback and uses his energy absorbing and redirecting powers to quickly defeat Malware. Ben gets up from the ground and shouts to the fleeing Malware that he should be running. In the present day, 16-year-old Ben, along with Gwen and Kevin, is in pursuit of Zombozo, who has stolen a brain from Bellwood's brain bank. After Zombozo manages to slip away several times, Ben transforms into Lodestar and uses his magnetic powers to launch Steel Kevin at Zombozo, and then magnetically pulls Zombozo's brain case. Once Zombozo is tied up, Gwen and Kevin reveal that they are leaving Bellwood. Ben is surprised to learn that Kevin won't be coming back as he has found a place near Gwen's campus. As they leave, Zombozo mocks Ben, claiming that he would have never captured him without his friends. After driving past Mr. Smoothie because it wouldn't be the same, Ben drives to Max's plumbing. Using the secret entrance in the store's bathroom, Ben descends into the plumber's base beneath Bellwood. Ben meets up with Max, who tries to invite him for an alien lunch. Before he can, an alarm goes off, and Ben goes off to find the problem. When he arrives, he is shocked to see half of a building destroyed, with a giant crater left. Watching from the shadows is Kyber, who attaches the Nematrix to his pet and lets it run into the crater. Kyber whistles, and his pet transforms into Crabdozer, going after Ben. Ben tries to transform into Humongosaur but transforms into Spider Monkey instead. Spider Monkey tries to fight it but is no match for Crabdozer's strength. Just as Crabdozer is about to finish Spider Monkey, Kyber whistles again and calls it back. As Spider Monkey transforms back to normal, an alien named Pacmar comes out of a nearby toilet he was hiding in. Pacmar reveals that this was his shop, a toilet emporium. Unfortunately, he was confronted by a gang of alien criminals. The criminals force all of the alien shops in Bellwood to pay them Tadenite for protection. With this information, Ben goes off to Mr. Bauman's alien grocery store. He asks him if he has had any demands from the alien criminals. At first, he does not want Ben to interfere. Ben manages to convince him to let him observe quietly. In order to disguise himself, he turns into Cannon Bolt and immediately attracts attention. After accidentally dealing some damage, he settles down in the store's food bar. Remembering how hungry he is, Cannonbolt asks the customer next to him if he can have his food. Just as he is about to begin eating, a trio of alien criminals consisting of Bubble Helmet, Liam, and Fistina arrive with a bomb. Mr. Bauman quickly pays them Tadenite so that they will leave, but Cannonbolt interrupts. Bubble Helmet begins to attack, and the Cannonbolt rushes into the fight. Ducking behind his counter, Mr. Bauman expresses his disapproval of lasers and the damage that Ben always does to the store. While the other customers run out of the store, the alien that sat next to Cannonbolt continues to calmly eat his meal. Bubble Helmet activates the bomb and signals his partners to run away. While Cannonbolt tries to breach the force field around the bomb, he ultimately fails as the Omnitrix times out. As Mr. Bauman inquires Ben when his friends will come to save the day, the alien sitting at the counter unveils himself. Using his proto-tool and agile gymnastics, the alien is able to defeat the criminals. He introduces himself to Ben as Rook, a plumber sent by Max and Ben's new partner. Ben is not happy to hear the news, trying to tell Rook that he works alone now. Rook insists that he is his partner and mentions how honored he is to meet Ben. Ben transforms into a new alien named Blocks and rushes to stop the bomb while Rook goes after the criminals. Seeing that he can't affect the bomb due to the force field, Blocks and Rook switch places. Blocks covers the criminals with a dome he builds his body into. As Rook evaluates the bomb, blasting a hole in the wall with his proto tool, he calls Blocks over to help carry the bomb outside. After scanning a nearby abandoned building for sentient life, Blocks attempts to throw it in. As he is about to, the alien criminals run outside and blast Blox's arms to bits. Blox tries to catch it, but the bomb breaks through him and falls back down. With little time left, Blox builds himself into a catapult under the bomb and launches it into the empty building. The bomb detonates, destroying the building and leaving behind a large crater. 
The crater has exposed a hidden tunnel, and the three criminals run into it. The Omnitrix times out and blocks transforms back to normal. Ben and Rook run after them and emerge from the tunnel into a secret underground alien city, the Undertown. Ben is shocked by this discovery but remembers his mission as he runs after the criminals with Rook. Above ground, Kyber once again attaches the Nemetrix to his dog. Telling it to show no mercy, he releases it after Ben, and it runs into the tunnel. The gang of alien criminals are fleeing across the roofs of Undertown and Ben and Rook are pursuing after them. Ben is shocked that Undertown exists and reminds Rook that they are not partners. The two split up with Rook pursuing Festina and Ben pursuing Liam. The five converge at a transport tunnel and Ben attempts to transform into XLR-8, but he transforms into NRG instead. NRG spits on the ground as Rook arrives. Rook hits Liam with a blast from his proto-tool and catches him in a net. NRG goes to Liam and Liam says that there is something behind them. Rook mocks him but a light informs him and NRG that a bus is coming. The duo throws Liam out of the way and are hit by the bus, taking out its brakes. The passengers flee the bus and it drives off, despite having no brakes. NRG transforms back into Ben and he decides to have a look around under town. Meanwhile, back in the tunnel, Kyber calls his pet and picks up NRG's spit. He sees the wrecked track and sends his pet to Ben. Kyber's pet transforms into Bug Lizard and runs off to find Ben. Ben explores under town, though Rook thinks that they should be chasing the gang. Ben tries to buy food, but Rook scares off the tentacle vendor by flashing his badge and trying to interrogate him. Ben says that the big bad will eventually send the lowlifes after him, and Rook interrogates aliens as Ben looks for food. Suddenly, Booglizard arrives at the marketplace and frightens the citizens. Ben attempts to transform into Humongosaur to fight the creature, but he transforms into Water Hazard instead, and Booglizard knocks him away and roars. Booglizard and Water Hazard fight as Kyber watches. Water Hazard prevents Rook from fighting, but reconsidered his decision when Booglizard pins him down. Rook aims his proto tool at Booglizard and fires a net that closes his mouth. Water Hazard tosses the creature off, but Bug Lizard breaks free and attacks Water Hazard and Rook. Kyber, seeing that Rook has joined the battle, whistles in order to call Bug Lizard back. Rook explains that his investigation revealed a bar where Bubble Helmet frequently visits and should be there now. They go to a bar filled with poison gas. Rook puts on a gas mask and tells the aliens to put their appendages up. Ben transforms into Terraspin and tells Rook to put down the badge. Terraspin clears the gas, causing the aliens to cough and wheeze. Rook sees Bubble Helmet and Terraspin takes his helmet and gives it to Rook. Bubble Helmet says that he'll talk when he can breathe, so Rook gives him his helmet, much to Terraspin's annoyance. Bubble Helmet flies away, and Terraspin and Rook fly in pursuit. Elsewhere, an alien gang is working on building many shakedown machines. The Big Bad and his right-hand man, Tummy Head, oversee this. The Big Bad says that the point of the shakedowns are to make Undertown fear him. Terraspin, Rook, and Bubble Helmet arrive. The gang aims their weapons at them and they put their hands up as Terraspin transforms back into Ben. The Big Bad comes to see and reveals himself as Siphon. Ben is surprised to see Siphon and believes that he is still Vilgax's weak lackey. Siphon states that will soon change and announces his intentions to extend the protection racket he's been running to the human businesses on the surface. Siphon shocks Bubble Helmet for leading Ben to him and then orders his thugs to attack Ben and Rook. They attack and Ben and Rook split up in order to defeat the criminals. Ben transforms into Armadrillo and battles the alien criminals. Rook shoots at aliens as Armadrillo destroys shakedown machines. Rook is disappointed that he can't think of a wisecrack, and Armadrillo tells him not to force it. Siphon then knocks Armadrillo into Undertown with a shakedown device and attacks him. Siphon uses a small wrist-mounted laser to shoot a ray that causes Armadrillo's arm to swell and start going crazy. Kyber watches and tells Buglizard to end the battle in order to save Ben for him. Armadrillo grabs a fuse box, electrocuting him, and transforms back into Ben where the effects wear off. Then, Booglizard arrives at the marketplace and Siphon, who is afraid, flees away. Rook then arrives and chases after Siphon. Ben transforms into Shock Squatch and fights Booglizard while Rook and Siphon battle each other, with Siphon developing a craving for Rook's proto-tech armor. Shock Squatch battles Buglizard 
and they fall into the tunnels. Meanwhile, Siphon fires his laser at Rook, cutting a wooden structure. It collapses on Siphon. Rook dodges it and makes a wisecrack. The bus with no brakes runs over Bug Lizard, but he returns. Shock Squatch climbs a ladder overhead, and Bug Lizard follows. He fires a blast of electricity at Bug Lizard, defeating him. Shock Squatch transforms back into Ben, and Rook arrives with Siphon, and he tells Ben that he made a wisecrack. Bug Lizard escapes in a cloud of gas. Meanwhile, on Kyber's ship, Bug Lizard has returned and transforms back into Kyber's dog. The ship is full of trophies of Kyber's past conquests. Kyber tells him that he did well and that Ben will be their greatest trophy of all. Back in Bellwood, Max and Magister Patelidae come in with a team of plumbers who take Siphon and his gang into custody, with Siphon stating that he has no idea about what Bug Lizard was. Max explains that the reason why he paired him up with Rook was because he felt Ben was ready to be a mentor. But if he doesn't want a partner, it's his choice. Rook has brought chili fries for Ben and himself to eat, which causes Ben to embrace Rook as his partner. Thank you for watching Millennium Pictures. Like, comment, share, and subscribe for more awesome videos. Have a nice day.